Sigma males often move against the current, which can be confusing to the more conventional alpha males. Their elusiveness, independence, and unpredictability can be perceived as a threat to the alpha male's position of dominance. They do things their own way, often disregarding societal norms and expectations. This can leave alpha males puzzled and unsure of how to react. While sigma males do not actively challenge alphas, their presence can still cause tension and confusion. Even though both types of men are strong and confident, their approaches and behaviors are completely different. While there are many sigma male habits that consistently confuse alpha males, here are 12 of the most common ones. Number one, they don't compete to prove their worth. The alpha males are used to sizing up everyone, making mental notes of who's above and below them in the hierarchy. They are constantly competing, trying to prove their worth and maintain their position of power. On the other hand, Sigma males don't join that race. They believe in their own skills and value without the need to showcase them in a contest. They're not afraid of competing, but they just don't see the point in it. They are not interested in the hierarchy and don't measure their worth by how many people they can outshine, nor by climbing the ladder of success at the expense of those around them. They're running their own race, and the finish line is self-fulfillment not the admiration of others. This lack of competition can seem strange to alpha males because they're used to measuring themselves against others to determine their success. They might think these non-competitive guys aren't ambitious or strong. But this way of living without constant comparison to others gives them a quiet confidence that doesn't need outward approval. It's a habit that really throws alpha males off because it's so different from their own worldview. They're used to constantly chasing the spotlight, and Sigma males don't seem to care about it at all. This can lead to confusion and even frustration for Alphas, wondering why these individuals don't play the game like everyone else. It's about inner strength and knowing they're good enough on their own terms, not someone else's leaderboard. Number 2. They can be quiet, but their presence is felt. People might sometimes assume that because someone is quiet, they don't have much to say or don't know a lot. But that's not always true, especially when it comes to Sigma males. They might not talk much, but that doesn't mean they're not paying attention or aren't knowledgeable. In fact, their silence often speaks volumes. Sigma males are skilled observers and listeners, picking up on subtle cues and nuances that others may miss. It's just not their style to show off what they know. Alpha males are usually the ones who are really vocal and take charge in a group. They like to be the center of attention and make sure everyone knows what they think. So when they come across a Sigma who is not all about being loud and in the spotlight, it can throw them off a bit. Sigma males don't feel the need to fill every silence with noise, and they often have a calming presence that commands respect without the need for words. Their quiet confidence and strong sense of self can be felt, even in a room full of talkative and assertive alphas. This presence is something that alpha males may not understand, but they certainly can't ignore it. Number 3. They can be introverted or extroverted, depending on the situation. Some men are tough to label as introverts or extroverts. They are so good at blending in that people often can't tell. One minute you think they're social butterflies, and the next, you realize they've disappeared into thin air. Sigma males adapt their approach to suit the circumstances, making them hard to pin down and categorize. This flexibility often confuses alpha males who typically view social interactions in black and white. In their view, you're either outgoing and dominant or reserved and passive. However, Sigma males don't play by these rules. They are comfortable navigating different social environments and can switch from introverted to extroverted, depending on the situation's demands. They might be cracking jokes and engaging with everyone one moment, and then retreating into their own thoughts the next. This doesn't mean they're inconsistent or fake. They simply enjoy the best of both worlds according to what feels right at the time. Alpha males may struggle to understand this, because they expect people to act the same way consistently. 
They may even find it unsettling when someone doesn't fit into the usual social categories, raising questions about how to influence them. The ability to cross the social spectrum with such ease is what sets these flexible individuals apart and creates a quiet air of mystery that others can't quite decode. Number 4. They don't need compliments to feel validated. Compliments are often seen as a social currency in a world where many thrive on external validation. People usually feel uplifted upon receiving praise, finding it to be a confirmation of their efforts and qualities. However, Sigma males draw their self-esteem not from what others say to them, but from their inner sense of worth and accomplishment. They prioritize personal satisfaction over public endorsement and don't need compliments to feel good about themselves. This can be confusing for alpha males who relish being acknowledged and admired, and may not understand how sigma males can remain confident without constant praise. They tend to view the lack of interest in compliments as an oddity. They might even interpret it as indifference or lack of ambition. However, needing no external validation is actually a sign of a strong sense of self. Those who aren't dependent on compliments possess a silent confidence that comes from within, a confidence that doesn't fluctuate with the tides of public opinion. This habit of not requiring compliments to feel validated makes sigmas highly enigmatic and often confusing to alpha males. Number 5. They don't care about the fancy titles or positions. These are often seen as symbols of success and power, highly valued by many, especially alpha males. Yet, this is another area where sigma males differ, showing disinterest in titles and the status that comes with them. Instead of striving for recognition by climbing the corporate ladder or obtaining impressive job titles, they find fulfillment in the work itself and the freedom it may provide. They care more about the flexibility and independence that come with their work than the status that comes with a fancy title. This is quite different from the alpha mentality, where titles and positions are everything. Sigma males have a more practical approach to their work, focused on results and progress rather than chasing after status symbols. This can confuse alphas who see these titles as the ultimate goal and may even perceive sigmas as lacking drive or ambition. But for Sigma males, the satisfaction of doing what they love is far more important than any title or position could ever be. This lack of attachment to titles and positions allows them to remain flexible and adaptable, changing paths if needed without feeling tied down by a certain label or status. The freedom of choice is something that Alpha males may envy, but it is a core aspect of the Sigma male mindset. Number 6. They don't need to dominate in order to lead. Dominance is often seen as a key trait of leadership. We're used to leaders who assert control and make their presence known in every situation. However, those with the Sigma archetype disrupt this standard narrative. They lean towards a form of subtle and influence-based leadership rather than authority-based. Instead of seeking to command every room, they focus on leading by example inspiring others with their actions rather than their words. Alphas might scratch their heads at this approach. In their view, leadership is about being at the top of the hierarchy and having others follow because they must. On the other hand, Sigma males gather willing followers, people who are motivated by the leader's vision, not just their position of power. This can come off as confusing, especially in environments where a clear pecking order is the norm. But the effectiveness of Sigma leaders lies in their ability to build relationships based on respect and mutual interest, rather than subservience. They don't shy away from leadership. They simply embrace a different, less conspicuous form. This low-key leadership style often results in high loyalty and morale, since team members feel respected and valued, not merely managed. Number 7. They don't need to brag in order to feel confident. Alpha males often need a lot of attention. They want everyone to look at them and admire them. They think that's the only way to feel important. They're always waving their success flag. Whether it's the fancy car they drive, the high-flying job title, 
or the latest gadget they've acquired. They're not shy about showing it to the world. They often trumpet their achievements and strengths loudly, believing that it's necessary to assert dominance to earn respect. Contrast this with the typical Sigma male, who remains quietly confident without needing to boast. He doesn't need to prove himself to anyone and doesn't feel the constant pressure to measure up or outdo others. This lack of needing external validation is what makes Sigma males self-assured and self-reliant individuals. For Alphas, confidence seems to require external validation and acknowledgement. Without it, they might doubt someone's confidence or capability. Sigma males know their worth without anybody else having to confirm it, and they don't feel a need to seek attention or approval through self-promotion. While Alphys might be busy updating their social media with every win and milestone, Sigma males are making moves without needing a spotlight. While this may seem like a disadvantage in competitive environments, this mindset allows Sigmas to stay focused on their goals and work without getting caught up in the game of ego-boosting and one-upmanship. This quiet confidence tends to last longer compared to the loud and flashy confidence that Alphys display, which can be easily shaken by failures or setbacks. Number 8. They don't need permission to be themselves. Alpha males often abide by the unwritten rules of social conduct, presenting themselves in a manner that is accepted and expected within their hierarchies. Their identity and self-expression are frequently aligned with these conventions. While Sigma males don't follow these unspoken rules, they don't necessarily go against them either. They simply exist outside of them. Sigmas are comfortable with their unique identity and have no need to conform in order to be accepted. This lack of pressure to fit in and follow useless rules allows them to be unapologetically themselves, without seeking permission or validation from others. They don't break the rules for the sake of rebellion, but because they see no value in following them blindly. Of course, this can sometimes lead to conflict with those in positions of authority, especially alpha males, who might see this non-conformity as a threat. But for sigma males, staying true to themselves is more important than blindly following old or outdated norms. This doesn't mean Sigmas don't respect rules and regulations, but they prefer to question and understand them rather than mindlessly follow them without reason. Number 9. They prefer solitude over socializing. In stark contrast to the socially driven Alpha, Sigma males find comfort in the quiet. Social events that energize Alphas often drain them, leading them to seek restoration in solitude. This preference can confuse an alpha who sees networking and social dominance as vital to success. For him, solitude seems counterproductive, a step away from the limelight needed to climb the social ladder. However, during these moments alone, Sigma males tap into deep wells of creativity and self-reflection. They recharge, strategize, and contemplate emerging with a clarity of thought that often brings innovative solutions and fresh perspectives. While alphas are networking, sigmas are introspecting, building a strong sense of self away from the crowds. This isn't about shunning human connection. It's selectively choosing when and how to engage, ensuring that when they do, it's genuinely meaningful and not simply for appearances. Number 10. They don't believe in everything alpha males do. Beliefs and values often set people apart, especially when comparing sigma males to alpha males. While alphas may subscribe to a creed of competition and ascension within social hierarchies, sigma males march to the beat of their own drum. They prize their own set of principles, which sometimes openly clash with what alphas uphold. You won't catch them nodding along to the latest power plays or posturing for the sake of appearances. For example, while an alpha might be keen on winning every argument or debate as a show of dominance, a sigma is more likely to value the pursuit of truth or mutual understanding over the victory itself. This doesn't necessarily mean that sigma males are passive or weak-willed, but rather that they prioritize authenticity and integrity over ego-boosting tactics. They are comfortable standing alone on matters of principle, even if it means going against the grain of popular opinion. 
This can make them polarizing figures, but it's this individuality and conviction that sets Sigma males apart from the crowd.